is going on everybody it is always fps back with another tabletop simulator video today today's video is going to be all about fog of war and how to set it up all the different things you can do with it so let's get into it first thing we need to do get your tabletop simulator opened up um, i'm going to just pull up my map here and we will we'll go from there so that's our button. There we go. So there's a lot of cool features you can do with the Fog of War. Um, you can use it to hide things from your players. Uh, you can set it up so that um, only certain people at the table can see certain things. Which is uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can't really do that with um, e even sit sitting at a table with, with actual players. Um, so let me get rid of this here real quick. Show you how it works first, and then I'll show you how to set everything up. All right. So what do I want to do? Let's get um, this guy out of here. Okay. So right, I have a little little dungeon here. Okay. I'm gonna get go over here. Fog of War. I'm gonna draw my Fog of War over top, right? So, so this is what I see as the DM, right? Looks completely normal. But if I was to switch views and I went to the green player, they don't currently see anything. Obviously, if I go back to the DM, that's what I see. All right. I have these little tokens here, and I'll teach you how to use these here. Um, and set them up in just a couple minutes but I use this token to actually review or reveal I don't know where I got the word review from um, for each color so I, I usually have four players at my table so I've got red for one for purple one for red one for blue one for green so for example um, if the red player decided um, he was gonna go down inside the dungeon and everyone else was gonna stay up top I could re reveal everything only to the red player. So that's what I'm doing right now as this is going in. So now if I change colors to green, green won't be able to see anything, right? But if I switch to red, this is what red can see. So this is, this is really cool um, so that if I want to, if a character or a player wants to go off and kind of do their own thing a little separate from the party or if the party wants to split up, I don't have to reveal the entire map to, to everybody. I can only show blue and red if they go off together. And I can show green and purple when they go off together. It's a it's a pretty cool feature. Um, there's another thing I can do. So um, I also made a chip that reveals for the entire party. So um, so so in case they they do want to stay as a group, I don't have to drag around a bunch of different chips. I can just move this around. Now if I switch colors, so now green can see all of that because I just revealed all of that. If I switch to red, he should be able to see all of this and the stuff he saw earlier, right? So, so pretty cool. Um, now let's get into showing you how to set it up, all right? Let me get back to there. Let me... Go here, fog of war. I'm gonna delete that. Okay, so 
pretty basic to even set up the fog of war on your left hand action bar over here. The third one down is going to be your zones. In here, you can hide things and all of that kind of stuff. There is one that says fog of war. All you got to do is click on that. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is click and drag. So you can make multiple zones if you'd like. Um, to delete a zone, all you got to do is right click on it, delete, click, delete. Go like that. Um, so if you have an encounter that you want to hide from your players, or just do, you know, I do a little over the top view, draw a nice there, covers it up. Now, now none of your players can see anything. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to get tokens. Um, I I don't remember where I think these are. Just they come in the game. Um, you can get any type of, of piece that you want to use as like a, a revealer token. Um, I think I used one of these and I just colored them to the color of the player. Um, so I, I would remember which one was which. So I would go objects, components, we'll just use a pawn this time. So I'll drag the pawn out, all right. I want to right click on the pawn. I then want to go to toggles, all right. So the first drop down, as you start going down the toggles, you'll see some options. You could reveal fog of war or ignore fog of war. So I, I want to turn on reveal fog of war. After I do that, up at the very top, when you when you right click on this guy, is going to show you. What color do you want to reveal for? What player color at the table? So this has all your colors, right, that you could have. I want this to reveal for the red player. So I'm going to click on the red wedge there. So now it shows red. This information here is how much I want to be revealed, like distance-wise. So I can increase this. So it's a, it's a very large radius around the red pawn, or I could decrease this to make it a little smaller. Um, the reveal height is ultimately, um, like for example, if you look in here, the, these pieces, this isn't actually one piece, this is two pieces. So when I bring my chip around to reveal, um, sometimes it doesn't reveal the top parts of this just because um, it, it, it needs to reveal the height so that's that's what would need to be changed um, here's the reveal height you can make it a little taller um, and that that's that's all you have to do so now if I go to the red player I move this chip right as he's moving it's revealing everything now I don't normally let my players um, move their their piece I, I like to move it so they don't accidentally uh, see the <laughs> too much that I don't want them to see but that's all you got to do um, and then if we switch to green green can't see anything so that's um, it's gonna be a short and sweet video today feel free to you Check me out on all my other platforms, Twitter, uh, social medias, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, have a good day.